So Google just released their Imagine 2 AI image generator inside this ImageFX user interface. This is nothing like we've seen before in any other AI image generators. So let's just dive straight in because it's absolutely free to use. So you just head over to this AI Test Kitchen website. I'll leave the link in the description and you just sign in with your Google account. And we just click through these menus here. As you can see, ImageFX is powered by Google's Imagine 2 and uses Google's DeepMind's novel watermarking technology Synth ID to embed a digital watermark in the output. So that's interesting, it's on by default. And here is the interface. As you can see, it's really, really unique. So let's give this a quick initial test. Let's do our classic, a photo of a llama riding a skateboard. Hit generate. Now that literally took about 10 seconds. Some of these are not very photorealistic. Actually, three of these are not, but this one definitely is. So if we just download this one, that is some pretty decent quality right there. I think this looks really good. Let's see what happens if we just click on photorealistic here and add that to the end of it. There we go, actually really good. Of course, there's never been a llama riding a skateboard, probably. So I think it is doing very, very well. But there are a couple of cool things about this one that are not in any other AI image generator. First off, as you can see, it sort of magically gives you suggestions for certain words in your prompt. So instead of a photo, we can do drawing, illustration, sculpture. Instead of skateboard, we can just hit bicycle, car, motorcycle, and photorealistic, you can also change. So that's really cool. Let's, let's try that with illustration. Let's make this a bicycle and make it stylized. By the way, guys, I'm always staying in the loop of these new AI tools in this rapidly changing AI landscape. If you want to see more videos like this, please leave a like or subscribe. It would mean a lot. Now, the other cool thing is actually it seems to be able to generate copyrighted trademark images really well. So we'll check that out in a second. So here's our stylized illustration of a llama riding a bike. Don't know what's going on there. Very cool, though. Let's maybe try something that it definitely should know how to make. Let's just very simply a photo of an orange cat, see what it makes. Look at that, isn't that amazing? So let's download this one. Look at that detail, that is phenomenal. So as you can see, the results can vary depending on what you're actually generating and how much I assume uh, it knows about these images that you're trying to make. But that is fantastic detail we have there. So let's give it a go with a copyrighted prompt. Let's try a 3D render of Super Mario. Look at that, that's definitely Super Mario. Very cool. I'm not sure what kind of art style this is. It looks almost like clay, sort of a clay stop motion. So if we change this to 2D illustration, apparently we can also change Super Mario to Ultra Mega or Giga Mario. There we go. I'm not sure how it chooses how many images to generate, but this time we got two. How about a photo of real life Super Mario? Okay, that is pretty horrifying. That one's kind of funny. And then we got two blue Marios. Very weird. Let's see if we put him in a situation where he's doing something, if that makes a difference. Let's say Super Mario riding a motorcycle, real life again. Okay, weird. So it's definitely trying its best and it knows what Super Mario looks like. Let's try Princess Zelda eating a pizza. There she is. Let's make it photorealistic now. Ah, apparently that goes against their policies just by adding photorealistic. Interesting, what happens if we do surreal? So that one works. It just doesn't want to do photorealistic. Interesting. Obviously, this being a Google product, it is completely not open source. So like a lot of these image generators, they nerf and censor it so that they don't get in trouble with lawsuits and things like that. Let's try it with some real people. Nope, doesn't like that. So that's completely censored, but apparently we can do other copyright material. How about a photo of SpongeBob standing in Times Square? And there is SpongeBob in Times Square. However, it does just look like someone in a SpongeBob suit, which is interesting. So here we have some images of SpongeBob eating some pizza. Pretty cool. Now there are almost no settings you can change. There's only one thing you can change, and that is the seed. If you go to settings down here, you can see the seed is unlocked, meaning it will generate a random seed, giving you more variety. If you like the look of some of the images that you generated, you can lock that seed and keep generating new images and all keep that style. Other than that, it's completely simple. I do like this novel way of letting you change the prompt with these drop down menus. I think that's very cool. That can really give you some new ideas, especially with longer prompts, giving you quick ways to change styles. Maybe you wouldn't have thought of some of these things that it recommends to you. Interestingly, Mario and Luigi is blocked. What if we just do Mario again? Now suddenly that also goes against their policies. Now we can't even have him eating a pizza again. That's so weird. So it seems to be really arbitrary when it blocks you and when it doesn't. But for now you can still generate copyrighted images, sometimes I guess. So that's a pretty good use case for it if that's something you want to do. So when I put a 3D render of Mario, high detail, then suddenly it works again. So strange. Tried regenerating the exact same prompt and then it blocks you again. So maybe if you just keep 
pressing generate, it will let you actually bypass the block at some point. Indeed it does. Let's try Sonic. Wow, these Sonics are actually pretty good. Let's take a look at the quality of this. Very, very nice. So yeah, there's definitely some cool use cases for this. And as I said, it's completely free. So go check it out. If you like this video, you would probably like this one as well. And I'll see you in the next one.